Hey, Petra. So, on a scale of ugh to ugh, how bad are you feeling? Somewhere in between, but I'm holding on for now. How do you think Soren managed to get out of here without leaving any clues behind? He is the greatest builder of all time. If anybody knew how to put in the secretest of secret doors, it's him. So I'm probably looking for... Well, to open a secret door, you need a secret mechanism. Have you ever seen anything weirder than this place? Actually, yeah. I once saw a villager dig a huge trench and fill it with, like, a million carrots. I guess I'm gonna keep looking around. Look away. Neat! Hey. I'll be back. I'll be here. Looks kind of like clouds made out of glass. It sounds like the music is coming through the wall. Huh, it didn't do anything. Thought you could trick me, huh, fake son? Well, it's not gonna work. What's up, Jesse? Either of you guys know what's eating Lucas? Well, as a longtime observer of human behavior... We have no idea. Try, you know, talking to him. You both doing okay? Could be worse. Could be better. I think I'm onto something with this lever puzzle. If I can just find the secret door, I know it's going to open. I'm going to keep poking around. Right. You like that, don't you, boy? <laughs> hey, Reuben. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be looking for something, Reuben. Any idea what? What's that, boy? You see something over there? You doing okay, buddy? High five, Reuben. Well, I'm gonna keep looking. Well, at least that's not made of wool. Must be all sorts of hidden water systems in this place. What do you want? Petra's worried about you. Listen, I know I've been prickly, okay? But... Jesse, I think... Something's wrong. 
with Petra. I mean, you have to have noticed. The lack of energy. The labored breathing. I, I wish I could tell you, but I'm not supposed to talk about it. Wait, talk about what? Jesse, if I'm right about this, you have to tell me. It's not fooling anybody. At least not me. Look, Lucas, Petra's sick. How long have you known? A while, but she asked me not to say anything. The wither infected her with something. So everything I was worried about is true. This is my fault, Jesse. Petra's wither sickness, it's because of me. If you really believe that, now's the time to make it up to them and to us. Maybe you're right. I've wasted enough time feeling sorry for myself. If one of our best fighters is sick... Do we even stand a chance anymore? And not like we haven't dealt with some grade A problems before, but... I just can't help feeling kinda... hopeless. I know things look bad, but I still believe Soren's our best hope. Once we find him, things will look better. They... they kinda have to. Okay. I just kind of wish Petra would tell everybody. It would just make things easier. Hey, Jesse. How are you holding up? I'm not the one you need to worry about. You haven't found a way out of here, have you? Honestly, I haven't even been looking. I just... I just need a little alone time right now. Uh, I kinda need to get at that lever you're blocking. Thanks. Yep. Hey, Jesse. You know what? Never mind. Hey. Lucas knows something. How much of something? He sees you're not feeling well. I'm trying to hide it as best I can, but... You take care of you. I'll take care of Lucas. I'll be back. I'll be here. Bet this wool feels pretty good under those trotters, huh, Reuben? I talked to Lucas. Is he... okay? That was so unlike him back there. I mean, I know we haven't known him that long, but still. Pretty sure it was just a reaction to stress. Yeah, well, between you and me, I think that his little outburst was overdue. Dude needs to learn not to bottle up his emotions so much. Hey, Jesse. You know what? Never mind. Hey. I'll be back. I'll be here.
That's weird. Hey, everyone, I think I found Soren's way out. Way to go, Jesse. That's awesome. Nice sleuthing, Jesse. Sorry I wasn't more help back there. When I think back to how I ran all over Endercon looking for Ivor, or when I got that skull, it's hard to imagine I did any of that now that I'm like this. Don't even worry about it, Petra, and don't apologize. I, uh, thanks. We'll check out the rest of the house. See if we can find Soren before he finds us. Guess the water system isn't just for the outside. Not that the outside was actually the outside. You could fit hundreds of people in here, but it doesn't look like it's being used for much of anything. behind this door. And I call that one symphony in E. <laughs> A new composition to celebrate. My newest discovery. That's him. This time, I observed Soren. place a block on top of another block. <laughs> what the? Rudimentary, yes, but it's just a, a recording. Sign of undeniable intelligence. <laughs> I hope I'm not imagining things. <laughs> After no, all that, <laughs> he's not even here. <laughs> I, 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 I better eat something. I'm positively lightheaded with excitement. We came all this way, and for what? We're no closer to Soren than before. Well, this record didn't turn on by itself. Huh, good point. I guess he really likes the sound of his own voice then. Maybe there's something useful well, on this record. My next step I can figure out what he's whether talking they might be about. Able to be persuaded to build collaboratively. Hmm. I've worked up a simple set of building instructions to inspire them. I will disguise myself and hide among them in order to observe them more closely. Huh. Hmm. Oh, hide among I them. Hide among who? Uh, Jesse? Do you think Soren is talking about them? <laughs> Then again, everything else about this guy has been pointing to crazy. I guess everybody needs hobbies. Even if they are really, really, really dangerous. You think he's actually training Enderman to build stuff? I think he thinks he's training Enderman to build stuff. Let's look around, see what we could find out. Guess it's hard to get plants to grow in the end. Enderman Observations Part 27? I have been watching the Endermen up close today, and I'm convinced that I may have caught them communicating. Or, at the very least, two of them stood near each other for an extended period. It was very exciting. 
Then they wandered away. But it seemed deliberate. Maybe. I followed one of them for the next three hours. Here's what happened. Calls of the Ender. song. It's all just fascinating. The folly of pumpkins? Wearing a pumpkin may stop the Enderman from attacking me, but I remain convinced it is also altering their behavior. As if their preternatural knowledge of my presence keeps them from revealing their true natures. Therefore, I have now begun to fashion a camouflage suit that will allow me to mingle amongst these heretofore inscrutable creatures. And, like a fearless explorer burning his boats to the ground upon reaching the shores of a new land, my entire cache of pumpkins has now been baked into delicious pies. Totemic constructions of peaceful Endermen. Hmm. Could Endermen be implored to work together? Or are they like sheep and pigs, wandering randomly and doing things based on whim rather than higher thought processes? I've already decided that only Endermen at peace build structures. When agitated, such as yesterday, they don't seem to have any interest in building things, only hitting me with their fists. Repeatedly. Meanwhile, peaceful Endermen will move blocks from place to place, on and on, seemingly ad infinitum, until they somehow achieve satisfaction and teleport away. Clearly, this will require further detailed observation. I am so, so lonely. Hey, Olivia. What do you think the others have found? I don't know. Soren's mansion looked huge, but the lab seems to be where the real answers are. Hey, Olivia. What do you think it's like actually living in the end? At least you don't have to worry about noisy neighbors, unless you get those guys riled up. Hey, Olivia. Find anything else? Nothing helpful, at least not yet. Hey, Olivia. Find anything else? Mm, nothing helpful, at least not yet. I'm no art snob, but meh. <laughs> Found something. What you got? It's definitely some sort of crafting recipe. But why would someone as brilliant as Soren need a recipe for a shape that simple? Because they're not for Soren. They're for the Endermen. This must be what he's trying to teach them to build. Those instructions called for clay blocks, just like this one. You find anything useful? Worth asking. You doing all right? Yeah, you and me both, buddy. I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend any more time here than I have to. Oh, like this place doesn't give you the creeps. Keep it real, Rubes.
Olivia, check it out. An Enderman... suit? Either Soren's got a very unique fashion sense, or... Wait a second! Looks like a taller one was hanging there, but it's missing. Because Soren must be wearing it. This is the disguise he was talking about. You mean... In order to walk amongst the Endermen, you have to become an Enderman. Okay, so... If Soren is using those blueprints to teach the Endermen to build, and there's a disguise missing from the stand... He must be conducting his experiment right now. Of course! The missing disguise is the one he had to put on before going outside. Which means if we want to get to Soren, oh, we have to go out there to do it. That leftover Enderman suit would fit me. Guess it's time to play dress up. <sighs> I'll take this one too. That's three I've grabbed so far. Take this one, too. It's a good thing they can't see me through this glass. Looks like this is the last block in here. Creepy. How do I look? I don't think you want my honest opinion. But it just might do the trick. Hang on a second. Soren in disguise looks like any old Enderman, and so will you. How are you going to find him? Walk up to every Enderman out there and say, Hey, are you Soren? The whole point of the disguise is to avoid that kind of attention. Soren's trying to teach the Enderman to build the shape in those instructions, right? I bet if I complete it, that would really get his attention. Try not to die, okay? I'd really hate to have to watch that from behind this protective glass. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay, we've just got to get Soren's attention and avoid attracting theirs. Cracked it yet? Not yet, but I'm 
getting closer. Oh, you know that's really creepy, right? Huh? The Ender Suit. I keep wanting to not look at you. It's so disturbing. I'm sorry. You go ahead and build with those Endermen outside. I'll just wait here. Hey. Seriously, I am not going to get used to that. You go ahead and build with those Endermen outside. I'll just wait here. Hey. Seriously, I am not going to get used to that. You go ahead and build with those Endermen outside. I'll just wait here. Okay, let's try this again. Six blocks to finish that shape in Soren's instructions. And this guy's got the only block around. Down, five to go. I just hope that Soren's watching wherever he is. False evidence of Enderman intelligence accomplished. Uh, nothing to see here, guys. Just walk away. Okay, they're not walking away. Definitely not walking away. I am sorry about this, but it has to look real. I I don't think it'll bruise. Your face, I mean. These suits were built with durability in mind. You must be Soren. Well, I am. But must I be? I'm not sure if I want to sometimes. Sometimes I'd prefer to be anything but Soren. Like a donkey, for example. You have to help me. Well, I just did. You hit me hard in the face. You upset the Enderman, and I got you to safety. By the way, as far as introductions are concerned, this is not going very well. We're in danger. Oh, what else is new? Whatever your issue is, whatever your problem, it has occurred before, and has been solved before. Even so, what do you need me for? I've gone out of my way to avoid these types of problems. I don't even remember what it looks like up there. Help me save the world. How? The Formida Bomb. <laughs> There's a wither storm on the loose and it's eating the world. Ah, I see. You misspoke. You don't need me. You need my stuff. I've found that when you give people what they want, they turn on you. They become resentful. Who turned on you? All of them! It's why I prefer Endermen. They always do what you expect, almost to a fault. You're a stranger. And what you're asking for is too dangerous. I have the amulet. What? Gabriel gave it to me. Gabriel? 
Gabriel asked me to reassemble the Order of the Stone. The Order of the Stone? They asked for me? I've always known they needed me, but I was never sure if they wanted me. It's lonely down here without your friends. Gabriel is your friend. Hmm, I don't know. Does he ever talk about me? Uh, sure. What kinds of things do they say? Specifically? Give me an example. That you were missed. Really? Maybe it was more missing. You have to read between the lines. Yes, yes you do. But what about you? Are you my friend? As long as we're on the subject? Not to put you on the spot? Sure. Ah, that's the best thing I've heard in years. Admittedly, it's not a very high bar. Don't worry. I'm going to help you, because that's what friends do. Before we leave, I'm going to give my old friends a gift. The gift of song. Gary may seem scary, but he's a swell guy. Sally dilly-dallies, give her credit she tries. They might look the same to the untrained eye, but that's a lie. So yeah, I say... let it out. Wait, is that... are... are, are you? Soren! Whoa! Nice to meet you, Soren. <coughs> you look terrible. <laughs> Seems a bit odd. I've never been inside before. What's happening? You've upset them! You've altered their behavior! Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>